Hello singers! Thank you for your interest in these warm-up videos. They can be used for choir or for solo voice. Today we will be working on vowel shape. We will be using kinesthetic movement to loosen the body. We will be focusing on posture. We will also be doing, like in the first video, a tuning exercise that incorporates seventh chords as well as different vowel shapes. This exercise is in a PDF document in the description below, and I will also be giving a detailed description in this video if you watch till the end. Please subscribe, make any comment of YouTube videos you'd like to see in the future. Enjoy. Okay, here is our second warm-up video. We're going to start by just stretching for a minute. Go ahead and reach up to the sky. Okay, stretch to one side, other side. Good. Bring your shoulders down, around and back. Roll them. Other direction. Like in the first video, find your center position. Very good. Now an exercise we're going to do to help relax our shoulders is the downhill skiing exercise. Okay? So go ahead and spread out a little bit. You may need a little more room. Okay? So you're going to go like this and just throw your arms and bend over as far as is comfortable. Don't hit your head on the chair in front of you. <laughs> there you go. Ready? Feel all the blood go into your fingertips. Throw your hands. <laughs> One more. Okay, roll your shoulders. Okay, shake your arms out. Very nice. Just bounce a little bit. All right. Here is a G, please. Now listen to a bad knee. Nia. Bring the lips forward just a little bit. Relax the chin and the jaw. Lift the soft palate. Ready and. Keep everything back and open. Modify this vowel just a little bit and go no. Okay, so incorporate both elements of each vowel into into the other. Here we go. Ready and no. you to do is use your hand and do a bowling gesture okay for example Z, Z, and throw it out don't let your chin go up like I did there okay ready and Z, Hey! 
good job. All right, a B flat major, please. We're just gonna go down in our range. My, 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 my. 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 My, my, Don't press it when you get too low. Just jump up an octave when it's too low. Very good, shake it out. Okay, we're going to do a tuning exercise right now that helps us tune seventh chords, okay? First of all, I'm going to explain it. Uh, this is the chord. Okay, and it moves through this progression. While Susan plays it, I'm gonna say which parts are moving. First alto goes down a half step. Then tenor goes down a half step. Then soprano goes down a half step. Basses stay the same until just a minute, and now you tune to it. Major chord. Okay, let's practice that with Susan playing with us. Ready, and la, my, no, ga. Good, and you resolve on a hum. Okay, keep everything open on the inside when you sing the hum. Here we go again without Susan. Good, do it one more time. Tune a little better, better in the end. Here we go. Ready, and... Very good. Now the way this exercise moves on is you hit that chord at the end on the hum, then you go backwards to ga, then we move into la again, like the beginning of the exercises, but basses are going to go down a half step, which will start the sequence over. So here we go, beginning again, and we're going to try moving through just a couple of these rotations. Back to God. 